forward again, and Paul Way was the player caught off. Sure. South Melbourne were relieved when Paul Way passed that fitness test. John Stojkovic, linesman, catching Paul Wade offside. And it's a good afternoon again on a cold afternoon here in Melbourne to Johnny Warren. Johnny, but it might be cold, but this game promises a lot and enough to keep us warm. Yes, good afternoon, Mike. Uh, it's a very, uh, very positive start from South Melbourne, as you'd expect from a team that's been in really good form on top of the league. But uh, I feel this afternoon, I don't agree with Jimmy Armstrong's uh, comments about the three-goal margin in it. I think Saints are in a very dangerous mood this afternoon. Their desperation stakes for them. They're down near the bottom of the table, and they're going to make it very difficult uh, for South Melbourne. But a very interesting duel already, Mike, is going to be the battle between Paul Wade and Craig Moffat in the middle of the park. Craig Moffat, one of the best, best markers uh, in the National Soccer League. So Alan Potier is the player who's got across to take this corner. Mike O'Shea stayed forward. So Steve O'Connor. This corner swings in. The header. St George have taken the lead. Goal scored there by Mike O'Shea. And the goal coming after three minutes. Mike O'Shea, the scorer. His first goal of the season. Met that one so well. Well worked corner, Johnny. Yes, and uh, South Melbourne a little bit disappointed with their marking there. Mike O'Shea takes the goal well. A good corner from Potier. And uh, as we mentioned uh, just a few minutes earlier, Saints are going to make it very difficult for South Melbourne this afternoon, who are now going to have the job ahead of them. So four minutes gone. South Melbourne nil. St George won. So South Melbourne for the second week in succession find themselves a goal behind after just four minutes. Now with the throw. Craig Moffat available on that far side. He's found space. Here's Craig Moffat. That should have been the second. Moffat hits it wide. But a lovely move that, Johnny. He should have done better. Yes, Craig knows it too. A beautiful through ball from Totevsky. Moffat uh, did well to take up such good space. But uh, really uh, needed to curve the ball the other way to put in what should have been 2-0 for Saints. Yeah, Danny Wright. Russell. Now Wade, Bobby Russell, uh, David Healy, Trimboli, Caligoras, Wade had made their own through, now uh, Paul Trimboli, 2-1 against St George here at Middle Park, they trail here by a goal to nil as Potier takes this corner, Craig Moffat there with the header and that wasn't too far wide from number two. And again, South Melbourne, John caught out on the corners. Yes, there's a definite advantage to Saints in these, Potty is hitting them really well. Good direction and a good uh, rehearsed move there where O'Shea going for it and pulled out to leave the space for Hagen and Moffat. At that time, yeah, Danny Wright and now Paul Trimboli. Awkward angle for the youngster, still Trimboli and he's won a corner. Good break that from South Melbourne and St George there were caught John. Yes, good uh, quick break Trimboli, perhaps should have got it across a little bit earlier to Danny Wright who was free at the far post. But uh, good closing down from uh, Mick Grubeski there. Of course, that corner kick. Paul Trimboli bringing the South Melbourne fans to life as they've got this corner. You can see the strength of the win there as Salakis curls this one in. Gibson comes, takes it safely. Now Hagen. Tortevsky. Tortevsky losing out that time. Now Salakis. Still Peter Salakis. Mistake by Gibson, and it goes inches wide. Peter Salakis, so close there. He's put himself Melbourne on level terms, but that would have been a disaster for Gibson, John. Yes, it uh, did dip and uh, swerve a little bit, but I think Mike would be a bit annoyed with himself there. He's been uh, very positive in what he's done so far, but that was a big mistake. Lucky to get out of that case of it. Some anxious moments there for Mike Gibson. But uh, Steve O'Connor down. Took a nasty fall, fell badly uh, on his back. Um, not a player to go down, Mike. Georgia are coming out now like the charge of the light brigade, trying to play the offside trap himself. Melbourne have beaten that. This is Peter Solakis. Danny Wright's available at the far post. Solakis with a cross. They're headed down from Trimboli. Bounced nicely in the end for Mike Gibson. But Peter Solakis starting to cause a few problems, John. Yes, here he is again. Good break, good cross. 
But uh, it's notable, uh, Saints are getting into trouble since Steve O'Connor's out of it. He can hardly move there, Mike. I doubt if he'd be on the field much longer. It's a problem for Saints, who they're going to bring back into uh, the defence there. David Healy. And you're right, wants it at the far post. Healy there tries that one. Just over the top. Had Mike Gibson guessing. David Healy yet to open his account in the National Soccer League. That was a testing one for the keeper, John. Yes, I think David uh, meant to cross there. There was no way that was ever going to go in. But, uh, needed to cut it back, sliced it a little bit. Walker one for the keeper, though, in this win, John. Good strength to Peter Salakis. In turn now finds Angelo Postacoglu. Still Postacoglu. Kalagouras trying the shot. Gibson goes down, takes it safely. Good fluid build-up, that though, John, from South Melbourne. Yes, uh, really uh, Gibson not in a lot of trouble there. The ball probably would have gone wide of the post. But again, well worth an effort when you're playing with the breeze. Looking forward to the second half. One wonders how South Melbourne will cope playing into the wind. Caligoras. We meet sees the possibilities. Here comes Potier. To Lallan Potier. Just over the top. Appealing there that it took a touch from the keeper. But a good break again, John, from St George. Yes, good counter-attack and what a great ball from Scott Oller and Shaw. We didn't get there on the replay. And you see if Potier is correct here. Hard to pick whether it did catch a deflection or not. But a great ball from Scott Oller and Shaw and a uh, nice effort from Potier as well. So, now Green. And that challenge against Danny Wright. Here comes Paul Wade. Now Danny Wright just hooking that one forward. Safely taken though by Mike Gibson. As the halftime whistle goes, the first half that saw St George start off in good fashion with a goal after three minutes from Mike O'Shea. South Melbourne unable to get really back into this match the way we expected they would. With Paul Wade not quite 100% fit, not operating all that well in midfield. The halftime scoreline here at Middle Park. St George won. South Melbourne, nil. Hey, welcome to our match of the day. As we wait the start of the second half. St George now kicking from left to right in your way, leading by a goal to nil. And during that half-time break, South Melbourne have made one change. Chris Mikhail is the player who's gone off to be replaced by the number 12, Steve Tassios. St George unchanged. And St George in the second half. This very stiff win at their backs. Tassios. Really on that far side. South Melbourne now with plenty of players forward. Tassios with a shot. Mike Gibson there got down well. Steve Tassios been brought on to add more drive from midfield. You immediately get into the action after just two minutes of the second half. Good move this though, John, from yes, South Melbourne. Much, be much better football from South Melbourne, building on the side. Just wondering before that whether playing into the breeze, they played a little bit more football than they did in the first half, where they tended to go two directly. That was better stuff from South Melbourne. And Kalagoras in that one first time. Trimboli trying to play it back for Paul Wade. Wade there does so well. Now Trimboli. Now Steve Tassios. Ball run away from him though. Danny Wright. Trimboli taking that one on his chest. Trying to twist and turn. Tassios denied there by some good goal from Mike Gibson. Good build up that for himself, Melbourne. And Steve Tassios denied. Yes, yeah, look at the good work from Trimboli here. The set up uh, Tassios does everything right. What a great save from Mike Gibson. Gets down really well to that first post. But it's all South Melbourne. At this stage, they knew those chances to go in, but I think uh, full marks to Mike Gibson. Great save. Corner now to South Melbourne. Zoran Ernich back helping his defenders. Ostacoglu lifting that one forward, away this time by Green, now Steve Blair, still Steve Blair, still Blair, and just wide there from Steve Blair, it took a touch as it went through, South Melbourne got another corner, Brian Garvey there, can't believe his luck, a good play here John from Steve Blair. Yes, uh, good to see defender up there, but uh, it's just not rolling for South Melbourne is it? Quite concerned there, player down Mike in this incident. Paul Wade, a very experienced player, was in there early, calling to the bench. Mike 
Gibson went down. Charged down by Steve Blair. He knew very little about that. Blair again, just hooking it away this time. And his father is Mike O'Shea, who plays it forward. Now Hagen. Now Pedro Ricoy. Now Scott Olerenshaw. Now Kevin Hagen. Now Illich. Into the side netting. Well, the ball there was bobbling around, John, like it was on a bag of tail board. Yes, yeah, a nice uh, strike from Illich here. At, uh, perhaps one wonders whether if it was left for Hagen, he would have had a more, a better shot on goal. There's Hagen there. But Illich, nice turn. The second half. And if you didn't know, we're also telling us how to try and buy a goal to nil. That's Rimboli. Caligoras. That's Steve Tassios. Tassios. Always an awkward angle. But again, Steve Tassios. Took up a good position, John. Yes, excellent position. But there's just got the feel there was no way he was going to score from this angle. The ball was always running away from yes, him as well. No, no way at all. But again, another good move from South Melbourne. So Posta Coglu with the opportunity to play in this one forward. Steve Blair's moved in to add some height in that penalty area. Here comes Blair. This season, he only managed one in the whole of last season. He drifted in there, John, and nobody seemed to pick yes, him up. Yes, nice, uh, nice free kick from Postacoglu and a good run, deep run from Steve Blair. Again, another opportunity for South Melbourne. That's Hasios. Trimboli cutting this one back. Gibson missed it. Mike O'Shea was there to the rescue. And Steve Tassios again was denied. The Saints now, John, living dangerously. Yes, well, South Melbourne really opening Saints up. Another good move. Trimboli involved. And Tassios, uh, one thing about Tassios really impresses you. He's always in goal scoring positions. There he is again. And again, uh, South Melbourne denied. South Melbourne wanted to make another substitution. Replacing number seven. He's 20 years old. Scored three goals so far this season. And he replaces up line George Caligoras. South Melbourne with a corner. Gibson comes and takes it safely. On the far side, there's a lot of space. St George with three players forward. Still Alan Pot here. Now Oller and Shaw. Now Zoran Illich. Illich trying the shot. He turned so well there. Just over the top from Zoran Illich. But that really was a good turn, John, in, in a tight situation. Yes, he's a good turner and good turn and shot with the ball, but uh, not far wide, was it? Or over the bar. But uh, really, should Saints be able to hang on, it's a great result for them. Healy. Now Wade. Took his eye off the ball. And now Fletcher. Still Graham Fletcher. That's it. That's the points for St George now. Graham Fletcher. 42 minutes into the second half. And Graham Fletcher picked up on a mistake from Paul Wade. Good finish in that, John. Yes, I think that whole incident says a lot about the game, Mike. Paul Wade making an error he normally doesn't make, indicating uh, that he perhaps playing with an injury. And, and St George taking some of the few chances that come their way. George now quite content to keep possession. As the final whistle goes, the league leaders have been defeated. St George record their second away win of the season. St George got off to a good start after three minutes with a goal from Mike O'Shea, his first for the 1988 season. And their final goal came three minutes from the end when Graham Fletcher scored his second of the season. St George's second of the afternoon. It came